Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the fourth generation of the Jeep Wrangler flip key to unlock the car, lock the car and that's about it. Quite basic. The flip key is there for a reason. This is the first time I've actually kept the hood open of a car because it's so difficult to move it. It is actually something which requires both your hands and straight away I'm going to be showing you the engine bay. There it is. It says Jeep 2 liter. And of course, the engine bay seems quite compact because obviously this car comes with bigger engine. And with the hood down all the way, I mean rather up, there it's resting <laughs> on the kind of the roof of the car. And that is kind of dangerous to operate with one hand. But we shall do it. We shall put it back. Okay, this antenna is coming in my way. Never mind. I'm just, oh my goodness. This is so heavy. This is like really very heavy. But we shall manage it. There's insulation there, of course. And here it shuts. Now the funniest bit about this is, okay now it's kind of locked so it won't open, yeah there it is locked. Now you don't need to open the hood from inside, it is actually open all the time so anybody can access the hood of this car and you want to lock it well, I need to press it and shut it, yeah there it is, here shut it this time, sorry rather this side and we're going to shut it the other side as well and there it is, that's quite easy, you won't believe it, you can actually open the hood, anyone can open the hood of a Jeep Wrangler. Now if you notice there's no Jeep badging at the front because Jeep is like, you know what, this grill is Jeep. We don't need to write Jeep on the front and that's kind of cool. If you notice the number plate is little teda because the bumper is also little teda. In fact, Jeep says that you can remove the bumper. The bumper is being made so that it can be removed because Jeep knows many people are actually going to put bigger wheels on this car. So with the bumper removed, the wheels can easily be accommodated. In fact, you can see some exposed wires right there. Doesn't bode really well when you go off the road. All LED lights, okay, the fog lights, of course, they are LEDs and uh, you get front parking sensors, no front parking camera on this car, the typical Jeep grill, beautiful LED lights. Now, these are very much in line with what you have seen in the past 30 years with the Wrangler. The Wrangler actually dates back to the CJ, which is the civilian Jeep, uh, which was after the military version so that people could also enjoy. Now, this happens to be for the DRL as well as the indicator. I'll show it to you on the other side. Now, the DRLs are not that bright, although they are LEDs, of course. And many people compare the Wrangler with the Thar. Trust me on this, the Wrangler has such things which the Thar can never get. Okay, what you're going to do is we're going to straight away, uh, I mean, I'm going to straight away show you the fender. You see the fender on the Rubicon model is actually very big or tall or at a height. The reason for this is simple. Jeep knows people are going to put bigger wheels. And when you put bigger wheels on this car, nah, there's no issue because the fender has been positioned so much upwards. Okay, the tire size happens to be massive, 255, 75, 70 inch. Okay, these are off-road specific tires, <laughs> you can see the tread on them as well and that's the reason why you get a lot of road noise on the inside. It says Jeep Wrangler right there and you get an antenna here. Now, you know what? The windscreen can be opened. I kid you not, you can actually open the windscreen and then it resides on this. That's the reason we have this rubber thingy. Here are where the actually washer fluid comes out and these are air vents which are actually functional. In fact. This is fake, Faisal Khan's fingers of truth, not really happy with those and the doors can also be removed. The spec of the screwdriver is actually written here so you can easily remove the doors of this car. That's so freaking cool and obviously you've got massive ground lens. The wheelbase is almost 3 meters, that's quite a lot of wheelbase to be honest and you get 3 roof options so this is actually the hard top where I can remove the roof and you know what Nurain and F2 were actually using this yesterday to take photos. They have not slotted things back into place. That's the reason it was making so much noise as well. I'm so pissed at them at the moment. Anyways, let's shut this and let's keep moving behind. So quite a long car in that sense, long wheelbase as such. Do you like the alloy wheel design? Well, it's nice. What is even nicer is the fact that, yeah, baby, lot of Easter eggs on this car. That looks so freaking cool. Is there on all the wheels? So when Mahindra is doing a lot of Easter eggs, these people are next level. Actually, the Wrangler is the freaking original. Now, this thing actually juts out. Can you see that juts out? So if you hit a tree now, uh, when you're off-roading, this will take the head, uh, tail light off as well. This is actually for the blind spot monitor or something of that sort. So they could not put it somewhere in the center because if they had done it because of the massive fenders, the blind spot monitor just would not work. So that is how it is. LED light, of course. And this is the fog light of the vehicle and the hinges look beautiful on this car. Now, like I told you that uh, Jeep knows people are going to opt for bigger tires. What about the spare wheel? Because you see, there is this light here, high mounted stop lap. Well, you can actually raise this, okay? This can be raised so that you can accommodate your bigger tire. And obviously it's a full size tire with an alloy, nothing less than that from Jeep, of course. Now, here is the camera. 
okay there's a screw which goes in you can unlock this remove this and there's the camera so you can easily remove the wheel and that is also made of metal on this car so a lot of crazy attention to detail in fact this is a towing hook there you get rear parking sensors Fessel Khan's fingers of truth will not come near the exhaust because it is hot you can see the wheels and you can see the chassis as well okay it gets a single exhaust body on frame platform obviously <laughs> and it says one of 200 launch edition so this is a launch edition model as well that you can see the indicator functioning at the moment let's open this so here it opens now jeep has also given it these slots wherein you can put stuff so if you have anything you can slot in here and obviously they will also sell something so a, a sort of a bag sort of a thingy so you can slot stuff here that's also very handy it says jeep right there trail ready whoa and the best thing is that this is actually assembled in india so it says it right there jl sport utility 4x4 design in usa manufactured in india 1941 it tells you all the details about the length wheelbase water fording abilities of this car everything is written right there anyways here you see this is the fluid for the rear wiper washer and here i can put it up now this is very much like the thar this is massive okay the boot is actually massive and you get body colored roof uh, sorry roll cage on the inside that's also pretty cool here below you get the toolkit okay now there's another interesting bit okay i don't know what this is the interesting bit is you see a lot of these holes this is actually for the screw so when you remove the door the door hinges the screws can be placed here so you don't lose them same is the case with the roof as well as the windshield that is next level attention to detail and below here is the jack and all that so let's just put this back into place but have you ever seen such crazy attention to detail this is amazing okay and there it says jl which is the version of this generation of the jeep wrangler and there's a 12 volt charging socket i think you can slot the wipers here probably because you have to remove the wipers when you are uh, you know removing the windscreen of this car and then we're going to just put it back into place now if you want to increase the boot carrying capacity not a problem all you need to do is just here and flat yeah same is the case here as well there it goes and it's flat folding so you can actually increase the storage space massively if you want to carry a house or maybe a thar also will fit in here considering the thar is a three door this is of course a five door model i love the attention to detail which jeep has actually gone ahead with this car to make it so amazing in almost every regard and there i told you it's fully flat so you can easily do that as well and there i'm going to put it back into place you see the headrest is so easy to move to and you see the levers so freaking well done yeah they want to recline the headrest no problem at all everything is done beautifully in this vehicle here easy to recline as well so i'm just going to see if i can recline it further no no there is no recline angle per se now what you're going to do is we are going to shut this and we're going to get to the other side because i don't know i prefer to sit vertically opposite the driver so i can monitor the speed he's driving and so i always prefer to sit here so this is again handy enough to carry more stuff inside and you know the seat base is a bit short okay let's do one thing you have to really climb into the vehicle and there i have climbed in now the seat base is short that's why under thigh support is not the best you can see under thigh support is not the best leg room and knee room is okay okay head room is well just about no it's a kind of adequate as such and speakers are placed here there's another speaker placed here and at the rear there should have been a subwoofer but that is optional and that the one which comes is actually waterproof so all this is waterproof light placement on the top let's do one thing let's shut the door before that let me show you the door pockets a chin to min to on this car and here okay it's easy to carry the door when you remove it so the doors can be removed okay very easy to remove the doors won't take you much time as such and the windows actually small where are the controls for the windows they are here in the center of course and windows don't really open large because the area is actually small and then you obviously get a handle so that you can get in easier holding it and height adjust seat belts at the front this is obviously waterproof lights are nice okay because you can just press them to turn them on which is kind of cool and nice as well that i've turned on all four of them and when i open the door obviously the center light also turns on so there you see yeah that's kind of nice okay here you can keep stuff i think pens and stuff like that okay and a lot of plastics in this car like it's full of plastic as such now here you've got two usb c charging sockets two regular charging sockets as well along with a laptop charging plug too and there is some storage space here there's some storage space here as well floor is almost kind of flat but three people can sit in comfortably because the cabin is wide enough and obviously you get isofix isofix child seat mounts as well but uh, yeah 
it is actually very rugged what do you think about the dashboard design of the car you can see they have matched the exterior color with the interior as well which can be seen with the treatment on the dashboard which is red colored so not the best seat to be in honestly because of the poor under thigh support let's get out and it is a kind of a climb and a reverse climb when you get in and out okay ac vents are placed in the center which rotate okay they keep rotating infinitely which is kind of cool it happens at the front too now the front there is someone special sitting with me in today's vlog which happens to be none other than my camera and uh, it's also one a mask it's also one glass because it's super duper hot glove box is super chin to min to but it is actually a lockable glove box it says wrangler right here and a handle to hold on to and yeah you can lock and unlock the doors from this side as well door pockets are actually chin to min to red stitching looks actually quite beautiful and there is this handle you just need to pull and gli glide in or rather climb in okay this is where the fuel goes and then you have to actually put the key inside to unlock it it was kind of a task when i went to fill fuel in this car anyways it says trail rated 4x4 right here it says jeep wrangler with the jeep signage right there so lot of those on this car and there is indicator here on the outside rear view mirrors as well i don't remember having done such a long walk around of any car but it says rubicon here rubicon is the off road specific version of the wrangler which is kind of the top spec oh my god there's a freaking lizard how did you come here lizard oh my god this lizard is not going to oh get out get out get out oh my goodness where did the lizard come i don't know from the tree it fell it could have fallen on me also i would be so freaking dead <laughs> okay you know what the wrangler's wheels are too big if it goes over you you're going to have a tough task so i'm going to do one thing i'm going to move the car i'm so nervous right now because what if it falls in through the roof and i'm driving it kind of eats me up so i'm going to move the car ahead a bit oh that was close oh anyway i'm panicking way too much i should not be panicking so much i'm just going to stop the car here i don't know the laser might just follow me laser might be already on the car who knows who cares because i'm sweating like crazy anyways gear lever has the jeep logo and has this red treatment behind just going to put it in park this is the physical handbrake the sort of a key holder right there is a mini key actually it doesn't come with the car anyways twin cup holders mobile phone holder here again the jeep signage right there lot of them you can see it here you can see it here you can also see it right there can you see that yeah they have gone ahead and put it almost everywhere easy to get into there is a sun visor which also gets a light along with the mirror same is the case here as well light along with the mirror this is an auto dimming mirror but the dimming happens from this instrument cluster i'll show you in a bit now there's a nice center armrest okay on the top you have storage space and it has a sort of a rubber finish and a nice design treatment as well below here you've got more storage again it has this sort of a rubber finish along with a usb charging socket i don't know why it says two right there anyways it's deep enough and the best thing is you can actually lock this too if you so wish there's a cigarette lighter right here and these are obviously for the power window controls so it's a one touch yeah one touch is only to go down <laughs> yeah for the front at least and for the rear no no the rear are not one touch down but the front windows are actually one touch down however you have to put effort to roll them back up it says media here where there's a aux along with the usb c along with the regular usb charging socket i think abroad it gets this auxiliary plug so that you, if you want to connect a dash cam or more light you can do that there's some storage space here which is chin to min to and it says off road plus sway bar so you can disconnect the sway bar which is basically the anti roll bar just in order to increase the wheel articulation of this car and this is for the differential so you can basically lock that this is the gear lever for the four wheel drive mode so right now it's in two high this four high four high part time neutral and four low as well and obviously this works when you get into four wheel drive system meanwhile okay this is actually for the air conditioning this is for traction control this is for stop start system this is for parking sensors and this is i don't know for what maybe cruise control or something of that sort it says screen off this is not for cruise control by sir okay it says select shift to four wheel drive low so this is probably for downhill assist or something of that sort these are actually the controls for this particular screen there and this is for the cruise control but where are the controls for the audio system you might wonder you should wonder i tell you where it is so here behind the steering wheel this is for the volume and on the other side it is to go ahead or behind track i'm just seeing if that lizard is gone or not or it is hung on to this car it's kind of weird anyways uh, you can adjust the seats very nicely and the comfortable enough seats and it says rubicon right here but you have to pull it like this to move the seat which is kind of different from a lever and the same is the case behind as well so you can see the cabin is kind of black and uh, it is soft okay this is actually surprisingly soft this to lock the doors is unlock the doors and you know what when you lock it it says it's locked this is for the outside rear view mirror adjustment it gets heating function as well there you see it says 
yeah it gives you the sign also for the heating thingy antenna is long enough it is on the right side so mahindra decided we should do it for the on the left side for the thar something different something unique something of their own and there is no dead pedal which is the biggest issue in terms of ergonomics of this car because your left feet i don't know where they go okay speakers and all that stuff this is for the headlight control automatic headlights but no automatic wipers i'll tell you why because this windscreen now it falls down so once it falls down how will you operate automatic wipers that's the reason why this car secured very poor rating in nca because it doesn't have forward collision warning lane departure warning or automatic emergency braking it cannot have it because this windscreen goes down once it goes down how will it work first you have to remove the wipers very easy to remove okay you remove this knob thingy and then there's a screw you remove that as well keep the wipers behind and then you can put it down and that's the reason there is rubber there it's actually very easy but it still takes around 8 to 10 minutes of time that's not an issue as such yeah, but if you want to have it in your hair feeling you definitely want to do that so traditional jeep in the real sense the old thar had that but the new thar does not have this particular feature again let's climb it's a proper climb on the inside honestly it's a proper climb there now these infinity scrolling uh this thing what do we call ac vents yeah this is how they function there's some storage space on the top which is kind of useless as such meanwhile i have already shown you all this why am i even going there i love this treatment right there but a, quite a lot of hard plastics in this car now this is a 8.4 inch screen which is actually quite nice and easy to operate there's obviously a compass because jeep actually makes the compass and the cool part is the apps So there's a backup camera here. This is how the actually the reverse parking camera looks, and obviously it has got adaptive guidelines. Now, if I want to get this in the main menu here, how do I do that? I just hold it, and I drag it down, and there it comes. This is so cool. This is like a smartphone, and then it's something known as off-road pages as well. So a lot of interesting bits in the infotainment system of this car. It's like next level for sure. and it's loading so it says but maybe stuck never lost and then it climbs the <laughs> car actually climbs in fact when you turn on the car now it shows the old wrangler the original and then it shows the new one it's kind of a evolution or how it they merge into each other it's really cool as well now this is the speedometer this is the tachometer and it's telling you which drive mode you are in for the four wheel drive system here you get a lot of information which you can browse through using this button so there you see it's telling you the drive train off road modes and all the other vehicle information which you would need like even oil pressure digital speedometer you can actually get in through this as well and then you can browse through so much information stop start ready seat belt unbuckled all the freaking information is right and you can see the oldish jeep right behind can you see that yeah that is so freaking cool the attention to detail on this car is absolutely the obnoxious let's listen to an audio right away okay that audio is kind of stupid so we have we in the apps right now and then i have to again go into off road pages it takes some time to load i don't know why but it tells you so what is the steering angle what is the condition of the axles have you locked it or not and what is the condition of the sway bar as well and what mode are you are in right now so all this is actually quite cool and you have these gauges too oh my goodness pitch and roll it does roll quite a bit but it shows you all this information so i really like it it's very cool how this has been done okay it's not the most intuitive screen to use but you get all the freaking information there's a mirror dimmer here you press a button here to dim the inside rear view mirror where do you see such things in any other car as such <laughs> <laughs> okay air conditioning you can turn it off here let's turn it on and there you get all the air conditioning information you also get oh my god yeah i needed that breeze right now you also get ventilated and heated seats abroad not in india though and you can get into settings and change a lot of things language and stuff so a lot of information in both these screens and you can actually hose down the cabin so this is actually rubber lot of rubber here and there and it's almost water resistant so you don't have to worry about spraying water steering wheel is adjustable both for reach as well as rake which you can see at the moment it doesn't get automatic wipers like i told you because obviously yeah it cannot use automatic wipers for the reason of the windscreen going down and then let's use the rear wipers as well and there you can see the rear wiper functioning at the moment yeah plenty of spray on offer there as well so it makes sure that the car is clean once you go for an off road excursion that aside let's play an audio right away <laughs> audio quality is decent it's not fantastic but it's good enough for a car of this kind and i feel that this red stitching here and you know the way they have done it on the dashboard and all these things actually add up to the sportiness of this car very tastefully done no arguing on that fact air conditioning control is here volume control is here as well so thankfully they have a physical control which is also a good thing i really like it so overall easy to use easy to understand car and then let's do one thing let's lock the door and when you lock it it shows you that the door is locked that's also cool now let's do one thing let's open the roof which means that i have to open it from here open this as well these are only two things and then i have to open it here as well and then unlock it there too so all four are done and now this thing comes off we're just going to open it on the other side as well because that's not fitted properly and yeah this is 
क्वाइट ईजी टू डू यार इट्स क्वाइट ईजी टू डू दिस बट ओनली थिंग इज यू रियली हैव टू बी अवी लिफ्टर इन ऑर्डर टू मूव इट अ साइड विच आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई फॉर अ मोमेंट विच मीन्स फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट वी गोइंग टू ओपन द बोर्ड आई एम स्टिल स्केयर एंड वरीड अबाउट दट लिजर इट्स इज शी अराउंड हैज शी लेफ्ट वॉट इज हर इशू मे बी शी जस्ट लव दिस जीप सो मच इज लाइक आई शुड ऑल्सो जॉइन दिस ब्लॉग एट लीस्ट आई थिंक शी वॉन्स टू कम फॉर द ड्राइविंग ब्लॉग बट सिंस कैमरा इज ऑलरेडी देर आई कैनॉट लेट एनी वन एल्स कम एंड दिस इज सम काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट ओके देर इज समथिंग इन द सेंटर विच आई डेयर नॉट uncouple it mm, oh my goodness oh my goodness this is tough just give me a second yeah i am back and we are going to do it now which is just hold on oh my god one hand is not the best way to do it but hey i am trying my level best to oh 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 i my workout is done for the day and there you can put it inside and that's how it's done now you know what it has kind of become a convertible there are three options there's one option wherein uh, it's a soft top so it comes all the way down like the thigh this is obviously the hard top so only two panels come out and then there is a soft top convertible with a electric reclining one which reclines by press of a button till there and then you can remove the window as well now once this is removed this is how it looks it looks quite nice as such so yeah we just going to slot that into place this is convertible fun in the jeep wrangler So guys I think it's time to start driving what do you think about the design and attention to detail don't you think the Wrangler is in another league altogether we keep comparing it with the Thai but this car deserves more let's go but before we get going let me show you the center armrest so <laughs> headrest ke piche na there are actually twin cup holders along with the mobile holder too that is kind of cool and nice as well okay and now you can see when the roof has been removed well it gives it a lot of airy feeling inside the cabin and it is a task you need both your hands to do it the door actually shut with a proper thud so listen to this when i close the door okay bang that's nice and this is so freaking cool only thing is you need to not carry anything so that you have space in the boot to actually remove and put stuff anyways okay listen to this okay now when i lock or unlock the doors that is the sound which you actually hear in the g wagon not the full thing but somewhere there as well let's start driving right away i can keep playing with this all day long All right, we are all set to go. Which means turning off the air conditioning, turning off the stop-start system, turning off the traction control as well, turning on the back on backup camera, handbrake down into drive mode, left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator, revving the motor, revs till 2000 RPM. Oh my God, there is so much grunt on off of the traction control. You can actually spin this car, and the acceleration is actually quite brisk. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.6 seconds. It actually flies this two-liter engine, really punches hard and fast. Now this is a four-cylinder engine, which actually produces 268 horsepower at 5,150 RPM, 5150 RPM. Torque output is also equally impressive at 500 newton, 400 newton meters of torque actually, 400 newton meters, which comes in at at a rather low 3,000 RPM. The result is it's got a nice punchy mid range and a top end which is also quite screaming but there are no paddle shifters on offer and this 8 speed torque converter gearbox is not the fastest around so overall performance is more than adequate although diesel is a diesel is a diesel a diesel engine would be really nice in this car because you would get a nice low end punch with the torque rush as well i actually lift off the throttle you know why because the car can spin because we are in rear wheel drive mode of course and in rear wheel drive mode well honestly There is so much grunt going to the rear wheels, and the rear wheels are like massive in terms of size. Actually, all the wheels are massive in terms of size. The problem is these are empty tires, which is mud terrain tires, and that's the reason you hear a lot from the tires. The tires are very noisy, and then obviously there is some air which seeps in through the open or uh, convertible roof. So the result is that it's not this most silent car as such, and there is some noise which creeps in inside. Top speed should be somewhere around 180 kilometers per hour, making it blisteringly quick. I remember the older Wrangler which I had driven around 2013, which had a 3.6 liter V6 engine that used to fly, and then that time I used to come up with a very lackluster diesel engine, and the result was that I used to feel my goodness, a box on wheel, a refrigerator can go so fast. Now obviously the Thar is very capable as well and very fast with this new engine of its. Now around the corners you can feel there is. a lot of roll on offer as such and that's expected considering that uh, this has got solid axles and a steering wheel which is extremely slow very lazy indeed and you see center head position it is just so freaking lackluster i mean there is no feel in the center head position unfortunately saying shift 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 so i'm going to just downshift instead because it wanted me to upshift and here we are Yeah, you can hear a lot of wind noise as well inside because this is the last thing in terms of aerodynamics. Because obviously, it's a box on wheels. <laughs> Now, like I was telling you about the steering wheel, very lackluster. Doesn't have any feel or feedback. And around the corners, 
you really have to control from getting rolled because body on frame platform solid axles off road spec tires and the result is not that good on the road only thing is the engine seems very capable here red line slightly under 6000 rpm and off we go yeah manual mode so it's not going to upshift unless and until i decide to do so giving me complete manual control of things engine actually revs quite fast and it's near the i mean it's very fast to its almost 6000 rpm red line so it's not a very high revving motor as such but it's a drinker it says 5.7 kilometers per liter as a fuel efficiency right now trust me it returns much lower than that in the real world okay around maybe four four and a half kilometers per liter because it's having such wide and not road spec tires so it kind of drinks and then you can see because of the body on frame moves all the way yeah there's that lumpiness of a body on frame platform so ride quality is not that good on the road however you know if you come across really bad bumps it absolutely feels indestructible gobbles them up takes a nice you know the i don't give a f attitude and just glides over them so that is the level of what do i say ride on really bad roads but on good smooth roads that continuous movement is a bit disturbing and then the other problem is that it's so noisy on the inside like really very noisy engine is so smooth and refined you can't hear the engine the gearbox which is a eight speed torque converter unit it's not the fastest which shifts kind of hesitates to give you a shift and then i'm obviously in manual mode but now we are in auto so that seems better because it hits the red line so fast it's kind of abrupt in that sense as well now i'm actually going to turn on the traction control left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator nice graphic there yeah then it bogs it down when you rev it and then it accelerates really nicely as well but movement too much of it okay in terms of dynamics it's way better than the thar when people try to compare it with the thar but the comparison of this car has to be with the land rover defender now the defender is obviously a monocoque platform the defender is way better on the road the wrangler is way better off the road but you, do you know that the defender has a better approach brake over as well as a departure angle when compared to the wrangler it even has a better ground clearance thanks to the air suspension you can raise the ground clearance of that i think the ground clearance of this car is around 220 mm somewhere whereabouts it's decent but you know really bad bumps or off-road challenges it can touch the underbody of this vehicle so that's something you have to be careful about and there i can turn on the camera it automatically keeps turning off after a few seconds i know that's kind of weird and awkward it's got front parking sensors which are shown here in this screen which is also quite cool but the defender also has better water weighting capacity 900 mm this one has 760 mm so the defender is a overall better package but costs around 30 to 40 lakh rupees more and also comes with the option of a diesel engine now since this is actually manufactured assembled in india uh, it becomes more lucrative the price is reduced by 10 11 lakhs now this one costs 71 lakhs on road mumbai there's another variant which is the unlimited which is actually priced at 66 lakhs again all the prices are on road mumbai around the corner you do have to pray this car because the steering is super duper big it's so freaking i would say disconnected of sorts very slow and you don't even know where you're going uh, uh, that is a bit of a problem look at this steering wheel come on jeep we need a better steering wheel for sure but compared to the older angle this one is so much better in terms of dynamics only thing is brakes are very nervous okay you get really scared because obviously there's that nose dive but you don't know if it's going to stop howling all that weight of almost 2000 kgs that's a lot now you might wonder why the camera is not straight first and foremost in all these cars now which have a body on frame platform i face a tough job of actually having the camera straight because continuously movement affects the camera also you won't believe in some of the cars like the thar and all when i mount a camera here now it freezes and the camera usually never freezes but it freezes taking a u-turn you saw it's not that much of an effort but yes the size is massive of this car but the steering is not aligned that's another issue which is making you feel that the, uh, the, the camera is straight up but the steering of this car is not aligned and obviously going off-road and all it the steering wheel goes for a complete toss as well and i feel like pressing these buttons behind the steering wheel thinking that oh um, i need a downshift i'll get one no i will not because those are like i already told you controls for the audio system the motor doesn't sound sporty at all it sounds very flat it sounds like you know uh it's trying to control its cough but it's not coughing it's kind of weird and awkward around the corner the roll is so much now it is so much amplified by these tires as well and along these expansion joints also there's this movement which is happening so you can feel very uncomfortable in this car just take this car off road it feels brilliant over there i know you guys are like why are you not taking it off the road i will take it off the road i'll make a dedicated video probably later because now everything is so dry it won't be that much fun but this is super duper capable of the road it has got you know this has a very amazing uh, downhill assist as well which can crawl at a speed of one kilometers per hour that's kind of super duper slow you don't see that in many cars now do you 
uh, at least some amount of spray I can get on the windscreen because last time when I was driving I had this open and all the water was inside the cabin as well onto the throttle little bit of time to react but pulls nicely and strongly this 2 liter engine definitely pushes way above its weight I was thinking ha, 2 liters say 2000 kgs won't work but here no problem at all and then you can see the nose dive by the movement of no rain so we're going to turn off traction control yet again we are in drive mode left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator turning off the hazard light and off we go some amount of smoke i have left some tire marks behind too and off we go now this car has got anti-roll bars i don't think they work at all because the car keeps rolling 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 a lot of roll as well so guys this is my vlog of the jeep wrangler the top speed should be somewhere around i think 180 kilometers per hour but it's going to move a lot at that speed i think it's fantastic in the way it is able to tackle all off-road conditions but then on the road it feels very uncomfortable this cannot be your only car if you're looking for a only one suv the defender makes a lot more sense but if you're looking for absolute madness off the road well the wrangler is hard to fall it's hard to beat it has that character it's always had that character and it feels rugged it feels off-road ready and it is all about off-road ability and where it is kind of one of the best in the world if you like this vlog make sure to give the thumbs up that's the like button and also subscribe to the channel i will keep moving rolling and whatnot bye bye